Tracker Triple O Seven, and today I'm doing a program review and giveaway for a program called Mac X HD Video Converter Pro for Windows. This is a sweet program, guys. Um, I ha I've been given ten license keys by the company to give away to you guys. At the end of the video, I will be explaining how to become eligible to get this awesome program. But first, I'll be showing you guys a run through of the program and some of its top features. So right off the bat guys, it has a fast opening. Um, compared to programs like Handbrake, which I have right here, it has a much faster open time. Another thing I like about this program is the interface. You guys can see it has instructions right from the top. Uh, it has big tabs. So really, anyone with not even a good knowledge of computers or video converters can easily get their video converted. Compared to a program like Handbrake, you guys can just see that it's much easier to use and less, much less confusing to convert your software. Another thing compared to that this program has over Handbrake is the um, settings. It has much more video converting outputs it has everything from AVI to PS3 to Xbox all the way to things like the Nokia phone and even MP3 which are much many different video converter programs cannot do that so one of the features that I'm personally in big favor of is the ability to, to drag and drop I hate having to hit add a file going through all my files just to find a video file being able to drag a file right from Explorer and dropping in the program is a big yes for me. And it is very easy to remove the file. So by clicking clear, it will remove them all, or clicking remove, it will remove the one you have selected. One thing that I know a lot of people will like, and this also helps out with uh, the music tab, is the ability to download videos off of YouTube. Um, I've already pasted a link in here but it supports things like YouTube, um, Google, Daily Motion, a bunch of different ons are here. So once you have pay once you get like one that you get, just paste it in there, click OK, and it automatically will analyze it for you. It doesn't give you a preview though, um, but it will once you've selected everything that you want and you click start, it will automatically download the video for you and convert it. So another thing that's uh, very useful in this program is the different outputs. Now, you guys can see at, down below here that it ha it supports lots of things. In the description below, guys, I'll have everything explaining right off their right off their website, explaining what uh, features they support, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you guys can see that it has different tabs, which I like a lo like a lot categorizes them so in general video we have the general ones that Windows supports which is the AVI MP4 um, WMV so once you've selected the one you want you have the ability to change the video quality so 10 are you have 1800 video frame weight output format your video codec and another things that I like a lot is the advanced settings like you can use a high quality engine and you can also select how many cores you want it to use on your computer. Like I said earlier, it has a big variety of outputs. It goes from AVI, you have things like the iPad, you have uh, Nokia phones, Xbox, Zune, and even MP3, which is great because um, if you have a music video, you can extract the audio from it and put on your MP3 player or whatever, and now it becomes a song. Another thing I like about the uh, outputs is, let's say I go to this HD video over here, and I go, or let's say I go to Apple, and I go to my iPod, I can choose different presets that they have built in. So uh, I can choose the mini iPod, for example. I can choose the quality, which would again affect the file size of it. So things like that, and then you go to things like cell phone, you can. You can uh, choose from Android to Blackberry to Nokia to General and PDA. 
I think this will be great because for people who have Android phones or Blackberries, um, you can go through here and they have a big list of phones, so you can find your phone in there, click on it, and it will optimize it for your phone. So now you can take your favorite video off your DVD and put it straight to your phone and watch it on the road. Another cool uh, feature that uh, I have never seen a video converter program offer is the ability to take snapshots of a video. So right here I have a, one of my YouTube videos in the uh, preview box and by clicking on, by selecting a point in the video and then clicking this little thing right here, it will automatically take a picture of it. So now I can go to my documents and find the name thing that I saved which is called I'll just, and I open up the thing that I saved you guys can see that it is a screenshot so this is cool because let's say you load a, a whole movie into this program um, you can take a, a scene shot or a screenshot of your favorite scene for example and it can now become your desktop wallpaper Another cool feature, guys, is when you have a video that has many different audios, um, streamlines, basically, you can delete certain ones. So this video doesn't have it, and I don't have a movie on hand, but basically you guys can see that it has one audio. Now, in videos that are more complex and have more um, action, they'll have more audio lines. So the ability to extract certain ones, which is great because now you can extract a song from a movie. In the DVD tab, guys, we have a lot of different cool things here. By going to DVD discs, you guys can choose uh, standard TV, wide TV, etc., etc. So that's it. That's, it. that's about it, guys, for this uh, cool little program review. The last thing I'm going to do, guys, is actually going to convert this video that I have here. No point in wasting it. I will convert it from an MP4 file to a EVI file. So I'll just go through and you know click on certain things. So it says that by clicking on the high quality engine, this feature will improve the image quality, but we'll still end the converting process. So you guys can choose this. I'm gonna keep my volume down. Uh, I'll use my that codec for example. And last not least, guys, choose your output folder. So I'll put it in my videos my videos YouTube videos there we go and last not least guys click the big start button in the corner and you guys can see it gives you uh, frames per second it gives you estimated time current time stop time blah blah another cool thing with this thing is you can have two options where you have to you can uh, have the output folder opened when it's done, and you can have your computer shut down when it's done. So basically, what happens is, let's say you're running this conversion overnight, it will automatically convert it and then shut your computer down for you. Which I think is a great idea because me, I'll, you know, I'll turn something on, go to bed, and my computer's still on in the morning, which I don't really like. This, you can have it so no matter what time at night. It finishes, it's shutting down and resting till in the morning. So you guys can see it's actually going pretty fast. This is I am I am uh, converting a five minute video, and you guys can see while recording my uh, not so powerful computer is going pretty fast. So I will show you guys the end converted process, the end converted video, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, guys. So now we're back, and you guys can see that this is the converted video. You guys can tell that it has been dumbed down to 28.6 megabytes from original um, 135 that's pretty good and now we'll open it up to see the good video quality and you guys can tell that the video quality is um, the exact same from the original video so that's about it guys for this video uh, I hope you just like the software if you guys do, um, the in order to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to do three things. You must be a subscriber 
or subscribe right now. So you can subscribe right now, or if you're already subscribed, then you can skip step. Number two, you must like the video. So go down here, guys, and click, and you're done step two. Third step is leaving a comment on this video. Um, what I will do is I will take the names of all people who have done all the three steps af in after about a week. So the draw is going to end on the 26th because all of the license keys have to be activated by the 31st for them to work. So you guys will get your uh, license keys on the 26th. And what's going to happen is I'm going to take all the people who commented before the 26th and I'm going to give them numbers and put them in a number generator and it's going to generate random numbers. I'm going to take those numbers, match them to the people, and those people are going to win. Simple as that. Again, there's 10 license keys, so uh, 10 people will be, will be lucky enough to get this awesome software. I will have a link in the description, guys, to this website right here, which is their official website, where if uh, you don't win but you still want the software, you guys can uh, buy it. They have a limited time special right now. For $35, you can get the software, which is, is usually $45. Sorry, $49. Well, besides that, guys, that's the end of this video. So, in the video, and besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.